hey guys welcome back to c4d wala and today's video we are going to create this melting text effect inside of cinema 4d so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in cinema 4d so first thing we will do we will create our text so i'll go to the more graph option and over here we will get this option called more text so i'll click on it and in this text option i'll type whatever text i want i'll type motion over here and all this text in caps so we'll get something like this select this more text go to the align option and instead of left i'll choose middle one then i'll change the font you are free to choose any font you want i'm gonna choose this poppins font and then we will go to the shapes and we will choose this cylinder hit n and then hit d so we will get this edges now we need to reduce the radius of it and we will also reduce the rotation segment to let's say 10 yep this looks good to me now hold i mean click middle mouse button and go to the front view and we will move this cylinder over here with the help of this you can reduce the size of this cylinder so i'll move this thing over here hold control to duplicate move this thing over here again hold control and duplicate move this thing over here again hold control and duplicate move this over here again hold control and duplicate and one over here now i'll select this cylinder and with the help of this i'll increase the radius select this one increase the radius of this one also select this one increase the radius select this one increase the radius a little bit select this one i'll reduce the radius now with the help of that you can uh, change the height of each and every text so i'll change the height like that i'll move this thing over here this one over here now i'll select each and every one and initially we will adjust the height so i'll move this over here this over here i'll move this one over here select this one move this one over here select this one move over here select this one and move over here now select all the cylinders by holding shift go to the coordinates and create one keyframe on y-axis and go to around 90 second and we have to move them downwards like i'll select this one and i'll move this over here and create one keyframe on y-axis select this one move it downwards create one keyframe on this one select this one move this downwards a little bit and create keyframe select this one move this totally downwards create one keyframe select this one move this over here create one keyframe select this one move this over here and create one keyframe i think i'll select this one and i'll move this over here only and create one keyframe now go to the start hit middle mouse button and go over here so as you can see we will get this kind of effect like that i think i'll select this one i'll go over here and i'll move this over here only and create one keyframe on y position like that now this looks good to me now after that we have to do certain things over here as you can see we will get this option so click on it and we will get this flow so create this flow and move it something over here go to the front view again like this you cannot see that in the front view let's see play this we'll get something like this now as you can see this cylinder is touching this thing at 25 frames so we need to uh, remember that now select this text go to the object menu and i'll increase the depth to 40 like that select all the cylinders go to the top view and make sure that all of the cylinders are inside that text yep this looks good to me now i'm gonna create another cylinder and i'll go to the top view and i'll move this cylinder over here we will reduce the 
height like that and we will move this cylinder over here and initially i'll make height zero and i'll create one keyframe then around 70 seconds i'll create height to let's say 7 90 percent and i'll create one keyframe so if you see this animation now you will get something like this or you can move this totally up to 90 seconds now if you want that animation should be a little bit longer so you can simply move this to 120 and move this over here and select this and move this to 120 so if you see now we will get something like this yep this looks good to me now our the animation portion is done now we have to make it a look a melting animation so for that what we'll do we will go to the volume option we will choose volume builder we will select all the things except this flow and we will move this inside this volume builder as you can see whenever we do that we will get something like this now after that we will add one smooth layer over here and then reshape layer then we will again go to the volume builder and we will not volume but builder but volume and we will choose volume measure now select this volume builder and move this inside this volume measure now as you can see we are not seeing anything so for that go to the volume builder and over here you will get option like voxel size make it up to say 4 so we can see this or you can reduce that until you see your animation now your uh, file will get a little bit heavy but the final results will look cooler as you can see i'll hit n a to get rid of this lines so we will get this kind of melting effect if i hit ctrl r as you can see we'll get something like this now if you want then you can select this more text and you can increase the depth to 60 percent now i'll choose my camera i'll enable this camera i'll go to the display option not display but camera option and i'll choose parallel view move it like that zoom out a little bit yep if i hit ctrl r as you can see we will get something like this if you hit play you will still get this animation it looks heavy but after the final render it will look nice and as you can see uh, these points are not moving so all we need to do select all the cylinders not all but select each and every cylinder and this is at 90 make sure this this keyframe should be at 120 because we have increased the timeline of it and everyone so because of that we have to increase this one but make sure uh, not to increase this one so i'll hit ctrl z we have to increase the duration of each and every one like that for this one also this one is already seen so if i hit play now and if you want to preview this all you need to do go to the volume builder and enable uh, disable this i mean click on this icon so it would be easy to preview animation and if you think that this is uh, happening a little bit late so all you need to do select those keyframes and move them over here so you will get animation from here so if you see now we will get something like this now we will enable this again now let's see how our animation looks yep this looks good to me now our animation portion and melting effect is done now all we need to do we need to do some lighting so if i hit ctrl r over here as you can see we cannot see anything but we will go to the lights we will choose area light i'll move this light over here 
let's see you know, by hitting control r we will get something like this so i'll go to the top view i'll move this light over here increase the size of this light press r for rotation rotate it and rotate it like that go to the right view hit e then hit w and move this over here you can increase the height of this light from here press r for rotation and i'll rotate it somewhere around like this if i hit ctrl r we will get something like this but we cannot see any shadow over here so for that i'll select this light go to the shadow and choose area press ctrl r let's see yep this looks good to me now you are free to apply any color you want but if you want then you can select this light hit e and you can create duplicate by holding ctrl press r for rotation and rotate it like that hit w so we can switch between the global axis and local axis like that if you hit ctrl r you will get something like this select this light and uh, i mean the second light and reduce the intensity to 40 percent and then press ctrl r we'll get something like that now we will apply our material so we will apply for material to this what we call flow so i'll double click over here and i'll simply drag and drop this material to this flow double click on it and go to the color and let's make it black if you hit ctrl r as you can see we cannot see anything then double click over here you will get this option called reflectance over here it's specular blend legacy click on it and choose backman reduce the roughness and increase the reflection strength and let's press ctrl r and let's see what does it looks like and i'll increase the roughness to three percent and let's see yep this looks good to me so i'll close it now as you can see at this point our animation will look like that now i'll press ctrl r and let's see now after that i'll double click to create the material for this text so i'll apply this on this volume builder or let's say volume measure so it will automatically apply on this text now press ctrl r and let's see we'll get something like this now double click on it and i'm gonna choose green color like that if you want to uh, apply any color you can simply go to the google and apply some neon color codes i'll choose this color now press ctrl r and as you can see we'll get something like this now on, on the reflectance again i'll go to the backman i'll reduce the roughness and i'll increase the reflection strength now then i'll press ctrl r and let's see how does it looks now i'll increase the roughness strength to 4 and i'll hit ctrl r again so you get something like this you can increase the reflection strength to get more reflective surface and you can also increase the roughness to get a little bit of roughness in that reflection it's totally up to you so as you can see with the help of this kind of animation technique you can create this kind of liquid melting animations so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next video and uh, if you want to render these animations all you need to do go to the render settings over here and from this options you can choose uh, the resolution of your animation so right now i'm going to choose 120 1280 and 720 because all of us don't have that high high-end pc so i would recommend instead of going for 1920 by 180 i'll mm, suggest you to choose this option or if you want mm, if your pc is not uh, high end so all you can do is log this ratio and you can type over 560 also or 520 maybe or you can select this width and type 720 etc etc so in make sure that you are choosing this lock expect ratio now in height i'll type 720 so it will automatically change the width also 
then resolution you are free to choose the every resolution like you can choose 300 also but i am going to choose 720 and range as you can see over here we have this four options manual current frame all frames all frames mean it will render from 0 to 20 manually means we have to decide from where to where like i want from 40 to 80 so it will render only 40 frames to 80 frames and all frames mean all and preview range means uh, basically if i remove this as you can see, i remove means if i redo the preview range as you can see it's also changing over here like that so this is the difference so there is no rock and science over here so i also always use all frame so 0 to 120 then we will go to the save over here we will get this kind of options so we will go in depth if in certain tutorials now for, uh, for this animation all you need to do format option choose jpg you can choose png also but i would recommend to choose jpg and from here you you can choose the location so i'll create a new folder like two over here and again i'll create new folder over here and i'll call this as render and i'll call this as melting text over here so as you can see uh, g c4 dwala to render melting text melting text is the name of our image so it will create a uh, different different uh, images for each and every frame for 0 to 120 so our all the settings are done now we will go to the output and we will check out this again so and i am in standard if you want to you can use physical also but it will take a little bit time to render uh i mean it will uh, render the accurate uh, accuracy is quite high in this physical but we this is a uh, just a normal animation so we don't need to choose physical over here so i'll choose standard so i'll close this thing now if i hit ctrl r i can see this render in my preview only now our animation is done either you can go from here then you can sh shift r so now this is on render so as you can see this is rendering my first then it will render the whole animation as you can see this is zero frame and it also shows the render time of each and every frame so that's how you can render your animation inside of cinema 40.